Hey everyone, welcome back. This is now part two of my 26th game of Jeopardy for the Sega CD console, in which I am currently leading once again with $3,300. Henry has $1,100, and Cindy has yet to be heard from. We just we just got through looking at the $300 clue in design, so I'm going to continue in that category, but I'm going to go for the $100 clue. For $100. A metal hoop or arch that supports a lampshade or an angelic musical instrument. Do the math. Maybe your mother didn't pass one bill in six years. Not one. Maybe that's because her mother doesn't always show up for a heart. One hundred twenty seven votes this year. Hmm. Missing votes to create jobs. Oh boy. Uh, let's do famous quotes for 400 For $400. In 1597, Francis Bacon wrote in Medita Meditation Sacre that this is power. Mm. Knowledge. Oh, that's right. Knowledge is power. I thought it was something else. Never thought it'd be that. Famous quotes for five. For five hundred dollars. Keats's ode on this includes, Heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. Ode on a Gre on a Grecian urn. Well, let's do quotes for two hundred. For two hundred dollars. In Riclio, Edward Bulwer Lytton wrote, "Beneath the rule of men, entirely great, the pen is this." Oh, I was gonna. That's the number two. Shoot, I was gonna say mightier than the sword. And I would have been right. It is mightier than the sword. Yes, that's correct. I knew that for a fact, but I took a little bit of time to read the clue, and I didn't get a chance to ring in. <laughs> Famous quotes for hundred dollars. Tennyson wrote that it's when a young man's fancy lightly turns to thoughts of love. Contestant number three. In the spring. Yes, that's correct. Volcanoes for three hundred dollars. Eruptions are divided into five basic groups. The least violent are named after this U.S. island chain. Contestant number three. Oh, the Hawaiian Islands. Oh, shoot. Yes. Select a guess. But never a guess. I was thinking Hawaiian. Oh, really? Volcanoes yeah. 400. Why? The two main gases emitted by volcanoes are steam and this, which explains the bubbles. Contestant number one. Uh, let's steam and this. Uh, what's uh, helium? What's that, Ben? Yeah, go with helium. No, it's not helium. I was thinking either lava or Martin. Well, 
called carbon dioxide. What was that? Designed for four hundred dollars. A millefleurs pattern doesn't have to depict this many flowers, but that's what its name means. Contestant number one. Uh, what is one thousand? Yep, one thousand. Yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, design for five. For five hundred dollars. This cross-like Egyptian symbol of enduring life may be a stylized picture of a sandal strap. Contestant number three. An Ankh symbol. Okay. Good job. So Henry is only 1,300 behind me, but there's no way he can take the lead going into double jeopardy. Volcanoes for $500. The Book of Knowledge says the oldest volcanic observatory is at this volcano that killed Pliny. Contestant number two. Mount Vesuvius. Yes, that's correct. Well, for two or one, well, one for a hundred dollars. The ash from its 1980 eruption was so rich in silica, commemorative glass ashtrays were made of it. What is Pinatubo? I had it between Pinatubo or Mount Sinai. Or no, not Sinai, but uh, Mount Rainier. So I'm going to go with Pinatubo. And it's not Mount Pinatubo. I'm sorry. That's wrong. Number two. No, it's Mount St. Helens. Oh, she got climb Yes, that's correct. Well, Ben, for what it's worth, your guess would have been wrong too, so it would have been fair game. Last clue now for two hundred. For two hundred dollars. In Roman mythology, the workshop in which he forged thunderbolts was located under a volcano. Uh, who is number one. Thor? No, it's not Sorry. Thor. Incorrect. Anyone else? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it was Zeus. Number three. No, it was Vulcan. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so at the end of the Jeopardy round, I have $3,000. Henry is $2,200. Cindy at $800 will pick first in double Jeopardy. In double jeopardy, there are two daily doubles somewhere on the board in these categories. And our six categories are American history. 
bird origin, not word, bird. Dancers. World capitals, K in quotation marks. Birthplaces. And some hodgepodge. Okay. Contestant number two. And Cindy gets to start. Where will she start? Bird $200. origins for two hundred. Archaeo, Archaeopteryx, which lived millions of years ago, had well-developed ones in its mouth. Archaeopteryx. Contestant number one. You'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Um, what is a uh, have well developed ones in its mouth? Uh, what are teeth? Yeah. Yes. Phew. That's correct. I went with some of the obvious. I went with kind of like a certain obvious, but it worked. And, uh, you know, Mikey, I'll give you the next selection. What would you like? Uh, how about World Capitals? Four? Or 200. Okay. Throw Matt's notion. Take on the world. Don't be telling me what to do. For $200. It succeeded Spanish Town as Jamaica's capital in 1872. Thanks, then. Yeah. Contestant number one. Of course, each correct response will begin with the letter K. I'm sure everybody knows that. Yep. Yes. Select again. Uh, let's do world capitals for four. For four hundred dollars. This Arab capital was devastated by the Iraqi army during the Persian Gulf War. Contestant number three. So it was Kuwait City. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to ring in. Hodgepodge for two hundred. Or two hundred dollars. Here is the clue. Clue is. To buy an Alfa Romeo direct from the factory, you'd go to this country. ALFA Romeo. Uh, what is Italy? Yep, it is Italy. Uh, let's go back to World Capitals for 600 For $600? This 3,000-year-old Afghan capital is called Kabura by Ptolemy. Contestant number one. And then it's saying that it is Kabul. And it is Kabul. Nice job, Ben. Yes. Select again. World Capitals for eight. For eight hundred dollars. This capital is located on a high plain, sometimes called the Valley of Nepal. Kathmandu. Kathmandu. Uh, world capitals for one thousand. For a thousand dollars. This Sudanese capital's name is Arabic for elephant's trunk, 
due to its site on a narrow peninsula. What is Khartoum? Contestant number one. And it is yep. Khartoum. Select again. And we're going to take yet another break here, and we'll see you guys for part three.